They called her the Bone Stealer. She would go from town to town as the sun set, taking bones directly out of people's bodies. One particularly spooky evening, the Bone Stealer arrived in front of a small bakery in a small town, and as the sun went down, she opened the bakery's door and stepped inside. Hey, said Claire, head baker and owner of the shop. We're about to close for the night. That's okay, said the Bone Stealer. I'm not here for the bread. I'm here for one of your bones. Are you that Bone Stealer I keep hearing about? Asked Claire. Yeah, that's me. I don't steal bones, though. People just let me take them, and I only want one of your bones. Uh, no, said Claire. I'm not gonna just, like, let you take one of my bones. I always get my bones, said the bone stealer, every time willingly given. Don't you wonder why? Not really, said Claire. Oh, said the bone stealer, disappointed. People were usually really interested in finding out her secret methods. Anyway, I gotta close up, said Claire, sweeping the floor with a really big broom. I'll give you ten dollars for a bone, said the bone stealer. No, said Claire. A hundred dollars, said the bone stealer. Is this how you get bones? You just buy them? No, said the bone stealer. I mean, sometimes. I really gotta close up, said Claire. One hundred and fifty dollars, said the bone stealer, who held out a hundred and fifty crisp one dollar bills. I need all of my bones now, said Claire. Well, how many dollars do you want then? Come on, I don't got all night. I just don't want to give you any bones for any dollars, said Claire. Is that your final answer? Asked the bone stealer. Yeah, pretty much, said Claire. A look of great relief flashed across the bone stealer's face. Finally, I'm free of the curse, she said, and then vanished into dust, leaving her huge bag of bones behind. Claire stared at the bag for a moment and then sighed. Now I've got to clean up all these gross bones. 